Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the starter on a 2014 Honda Accord. At the moment, I'm showing you how I jacked up my car and I secure it with two jack stands, a third um, jack, small jack, and two bricks behind the rear wheels. And this way, I just want to make sure I'm safe while I'm working underneath the car. Now, um, let's do this step by step first number one we're going to remove both terminals of the battery so that way there's no uh, electricity going to the starter so remove them both and place them securely on the side of the battery so they don't touch anything and now i'm going to show you where the location of the starter so as you go underneath the car right past the oil pan of the engine right there is the oil of the engine pan and right past it if you look straight up you'll see that where it says Honda and 82 number right here this is the starter and we're gonna have to replace it because my car doesn't start all right guys so here's the old starter so this is the position of the starter right off the bat so this goes inside this part without there's no there's no lubrication nothing needed so there's no rubber seal nothing here just goes like this inside and then that's what you see when you look from the bottom so you see this bolt this 14 millimeter bolt and there's this bolt on this side this one right here so this one comes all the way here so you when you look at it you will see the center of this and you'll see the bolt right here so that one is a 14 millimeters a long bolt so you'll take those two first first of all you're gonna take this out this this is easy it's, it's a clip you push it from the top and with the rest of the hand you pull the cable out and then this one has that big thick wire so there's a rubber covering it like this so what do you want to do is grab there's a little that rubber has a little handle so you're gonna pull it off and bring it out and then with one hand with the other hand you're gonna hold that rubber away and with this hand you're gonna get your socket without the wrench and you're gonna aim it here once you placed your uh, this is a 12 millimeter this is a 12 millimeter lug so once you put the, the socket, the 12 millimeter socket in here and you try it with your hand that stays there, then you get your wrench with your a little bit of adapter because you're not going to be able to put it because of the, you know, there's a loose, this butt is here. So you're going to need to come out about this much. So you're going to need some adapters depending on what wrench you have, 3 eighths or one and a half. <clears throat> So then you get your adapter with your wrench, you put it in. So this is plastic, so you don't need to uh, take it off, it's easy. You don't need a lot of force for that, but when you put it back, tighten it. But this is aluminum, and this is plastic here, so be very careful. Just tighten it just enough, Not don't over tight it. Because you're going to break this, and then you're going to need another one. So once you get this out, you're just going to have to remove it entirely. Make sure you don't lose the bolt. Just keep it in your socket and then tilt the socket down and take it out downstairs, outside. And then you will pull that. It's like a um, circle that goes into the uh, bolt. So you just come out, put that cable away, and then take care of these two bolts. This one and this one. And then you're done. When you, when you replace it with the other one, before you even put this up on the um, on the block so this is a short bolt this is the front but this is the back where's the long bolt so what i did is i hold it with one hand i took the bolt i place it in here inside this opening where it should go just enough to come out a little bit and then i hold it literally like this and the bolt and the starter together like this with one hand and then I put it back in there I aim it you can only see this one so you aim it make sure it's uh, flush connected flush inside and then once it's once it's flush connected then you screw this bolt slowly until it gets into that thread okay 
So that's the, this is the best way because I tried to, I put this starter first and then when I tried to put the bolt, I was like, oh my god, I'll never get it through this opening. So the, the best thing is to put the bolt in, hold it with both, with one hand, the, the bolt and the starter. Just make sure it doesn't come too much out on this side because it's, you're not going to be able to insert it just enough and hold it really good and then place it with one hand. It's still, but it, I'll tell you, it took me five minutes to put everything back and it took me an hour to take everything out. So the first thing you need to take out is this plate right here. It has two bolts, one there, one over there. So you take this plate and you put it right here on the side. And then you take, there, you take this bolt out, you take this bolt out, and then there's one. You're not going to see it, but you can feel it's right there. It's all the way on top of this one right there. They're all here is 12 millimeter bolts. There, you can see it right now. Yeah, that one. That one. You need to take that one out. And then this bracket comes off. After this bracket comes off, you have to take out. It's very hard to see. But there's this one right here. You see that? Yeah, yeah that, that one. It's just a clip. You push it from the top right here with my fingers on top you just push it down and just take it out it's very easy it comes off pretty easy for me it came off very easy now once you took this one off this small wire right here then right here this one right on top you see where's that little notch between push it like this down so like you would you know you'll push that little um, clip up and then you'll slide it off and then this thing comes off. After this thing comes off, um, there's a piece of rubber right here. You don't really see anything there, but you will feel it. So you just put your hand, this piece of rubber, uh, just uh, with, from this side, from the back of the, uh, of the cable. Just pull it out. It comes a little bit off. And then use a 12 millimeter to get that 12 millimeter bolt out. Once you get that one out, you'll get this one out. Um, this one right here, it's very dark. This bolt, yeah, that's one. That one. You'll take that one out. That one. And then there is one all the way at the back. You also can't really see it. Once you take this cable out, you'll be able to see it. It's it's there. It's a long bolt, yeah, all the way at the, at the end. You could see just a glimpse of it. Yeah, right there. So that one is a 14 millimeter as long as with this one, 14 millimeter. All right, so this is step one. We're gonna remove those two 12 millimeter bolts. Just unscrew them fairly, very easy. And here, uh, I already unscrewed them and underneath this little plate, uh, there is a connector that you just have to push down that clip and pull it outwards. Uh, this is just a job that needs to be done with one hand. Just uh, one finger, just push it down, and the rest of your hand just pull it outwards. There you go, as I'm showing. Now, step two, we're going to remove this uh, bracket that holds the manifold to the case. There's two lug nuts, 12 millimeter, and one bolt right there down below. You're just going to have to fill it with your finger. And then uh, we're going to remove this connector. Just push down the clip and uh, pull it out. There you go. I already removed it. And uh, also about this cable, there is a clip, a green clip. I'm going to show you right about now. There's a green clip right there that uh, pins, holds down into this bigger cable right there. You're going to be able to uh, remove that green clip after you move this cable in step four. So just use a flat screw uh, driver to pry that little tab out and pull outwards the entire cable. Just like that. There you go. I did it. So um, let's get a better view right there underneath. So that little square hole, that's where the... Um, green tab goes and this is the tab that removes this entire cable so you're just gonna have to pry it out with a flat screwdriver and just pull it outwards 
And then uh, you're gonna have to remove this connector, which is uh, held by a 12 uh, millimeter lug nut right there. It's very hard to film when I removed it, but afterwards, I guess you guys can get a clearer pictures. You're gonna have to pull out this rubber away with one hand, and with the other hand, you're gonna have to get your socket 12 millimeter and um, get it out. This is step number six. We're gonna remove the main two um, bolts that hold the starter. The first one, you can see the one at the back, it's right there all the way past the center of the um, starter. It's right there, you can see it. That one is a longer bolt. And so here I have my uh, wrench um, that I, uh, use, I removed the first bolt. There's not a lot of clearance, so it will take some time for you to unscrew that unless you have an electric uh, ratchet 90 degree, that'll make it very easy. Now uh, that bolt, the long one all the way at the back, that was the very hard to remove just because there's not enough space. So you make sure you have some extensions for your uh, wrench because there's not much space there. There you can see I used two adapters and the 14 millimeter socket right there. And then for that one at the end over there, you will put it between the axle and the, this is the intake manifold. Just like this right here is my handle. Uh, unfortunately, I was not able to film how I removed it, but this is where the place it should be. It goes right inside there and then you just take it down right between there's just enough space for it to come out there it is that's the old one All right, sorry guys, I wasn't able to film when I was installing, but I just had my camera running behind me. I, po I posted just a small piece of the entire process. I didn't think uh, it would be useful from so far away where you don't see the details, but basically the installation is just straight backwards the way you removed uh, the steps before this. It was very easy to put it back uh, after I already knew how everything comes out. Make sure you verify everything is tightened, every connector is put back, every uh, screw and lug is back. So once you get out of underneath the car, you're not gonna have to go back. Make sure those connectors are connected properly. Okay, let's get the key and let's go start the engine and see if it's gonna start. Press the brake and start. All right, look at that, it worked. All right guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video will help you fix your car. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.